jungle. Welcome to this channel, Breaking News. My life will be danger if my if my academic record are released to article to Nobelberg's U.S. judge, following the fear of what may happen. His academic records are released to the opposition leader. I had the article back at President Bola Tunubu as pleaded before a, a United States judge to save him from suffering severe and irreparable damage by placing an emergency hold on a recent order for Chicago State University record to be released. He said the damage could suffer it could suffer would be hard to mitigate if the September 6th judgment directing the release of his academic record to Atiku Aubaka is not delayed for possible vacation. Severe and irreparable, irreparable harm will be done to Bola Tunubu if the records are released. Mr. Tunubu lawyer urged at argued at an emergency appeal before Judge Nancy Madonna of the United States Restituted Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago. If the record are released, harm will be done and cannot be taken back to bottle. Mr. Tunubu lawyer added according to the People's Gazette, the issue has been the Soprona application filled by Mr. Abubakar seeking to obtain record to Mr. Tunubu at Chicago State University following the widespread inconsistency with the Nigerian presidency academic record already in the public domain. Abubakar application was granted in a judgment issue on Tuesday by Mr. Gibbard, who ordered the production of the document as well as the disposition of the school administrator. Mr. Obaka plans to use the record to demonstrate Mr. Tunubu in eligibility for president, relying on the constitutional session that disqualified a candidate who su submitted a forged certificate to the electoral office INE. CSU officials have insisted that Mr. Tunubu attended the school. But they are they have also said that it could not authenticate a certificate under oath because they could not tell where he found it. Mr. Tunubu initially argued that the document should not be released to Mr. Ubaka because they would not be tenable before Nigerian Supreme Court, where Albaka on the intent to fight them as part of his appeal against a tribunal verdict that satisfied Mr. Tribunal's election on September 6. Mr. Obaka submitted his appeal to Supreme Court on September 19, the same day, and <coughs> Judge Gibber ordered the CSU to release the Mr. Tunubu record within two days but as the 48 hour deadline loomed on thursday after afternoon mr tunubu suddenly approached M mc madonna seeking a delay and suddenly elevating the desperate situation of the matter to include potential damage to mr tunubu like judge madonna subsequently granted the application to Delay the release of the document, ordering all parties to file their full briefs by September 25th. Yes, my wonderful listener, this is a brief for a brief from Mr. Tunobo. So he's scared and he's begging the U.S. not to release his results or his document to to. Abu Bakr is begging the Chicago State Invest not to release his document to Abu Bakr, Mr. Tuku, because he knows the outcome. So he doesn't want his life to be at stake. So he's urging them to 
keep his secrets that his life must not be at stake must not be exposed to that by releasing the result to death to him so that he will not temper with it or use it against him so the chicago state university official have insisted that mr tunubu attended the school but that they have not but they have not also said that they couldn't authenticate his certificate under this oath because they could not tell where he found it hmm. they are saying two things they say that they don't know where he found it and they don't know the authenticate his results so which one are we to believe hmm. my wonderful listeners this is amazing so i'd like you to know that your opinion is very very important to this kindly drop your opinion and your comment as you know that your comment counts and also subscribe to this channel